What's up everybody, it's Shane Faison. I'll be at Madison Square Garden on New Year's Eve for the 2019 Professional Fighters League Championship, live on ESPN2 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Six world title fights and six $1 million belts on the line. The ball doesn't drop until the PFL belts are raised. Hey, what's going on guys, Shane here. And today we're gonna to look at three hand-eye coordination drills using a tennis ball. These are gonna be great for defense, it's gonna improve your footwork, and it's gonna help with your countering. These are things that I've been doing for a while now, and like I said, it helps keep your eyes open when the punches start flying, it helps you see openings for the counters, and it'll make sure that you're in balance and in play to be able to land those counters. So let's take a look. All right guys, so I'm using my dog's play tennis ball right now because he destroyed all of my regular tennis balls, but I actually like this one a lot. It's a little bit bigger, it's squishy. We're gonna go into the first drill. Now, with each of these drills, I want you to get 10 in a row. So if you get to seven and then you mess up, you gotta start back at the beginning. All right, try to get 10 in a row. So what we're gonna do for the first one is we're gonna stay about four feet from the wall, and we're just gonna go overhand throw with the right hand and catch it overhand with the right hand, same hand. So I don't want you to go here and catch underhand. Try to keep overhand the whole time. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I were to mess up there, I'd have to start over, right? Then I go left hand from four feet away. Then double that distance, go to eight feet, throw it a little bit faster, and you kind of want that ball to come flying towards your face just like a punch would. So I want to count that one. That's one, two, three, four, et cetera. Then you would go to 12 feet, and then you could go to 16 feet. Uh, really start pegging that uh, ball at the wall, make sure it comes flying back at you, and really just try to get really quick with watching the ball, keeping your eye on the ball, grabbing it, and returning. All right, now this one's gonna focus more so on our footwork and countering punches because we have to be quick with where our hand is in accordance to the ball. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay about four feet from the wall, and we're just gonna pick one hand, we're gonna stick with that hand, we're gonna palm strike the ball to the wall and back. Again, we want to try to get 10 in a row. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we switch to the opposite hand and do the same thing. When you first start, the ball is going to be going all over the place and you're going to be chasing it. And that's kind of what we want, right? We want that tennis style movement, that side shuffle to where we are catching up with the ball. We're squaring off with it, sort of cutting it off, so to speak, hitting against the wall and then uh, repeating. 10 in a row, if you mess up, start from the beginning. We try to get that 10. All right, so that last one is really good for catching punches, right? Punches come flying in, you're pairing, you're redirecting, the ball's flying towards you, or a fist is flying towards you, and you're catching it with the palm of your hand. Now we're gonna work on kind of being off balance and not seeing a punch and then reacting quicker, so improving our reaction time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the ball at the wall and then I wanna spin 180 degrees and catch the ball, and then go in the opposite direction. I throw it, I spin, and then I gotta catch it as, as quickly as I turn around and I see that thing coming. Change the distance up on this, and you'll notice how tough this one is, right? Because you're spinning around, you gotta be quick on that, but then you have that quick dizzy spell where you don't see the ball, and then you gotta react and catch it. If you wanna make it in, uh, more intense and harder, try to throw with one hand, catch it with the same hand. Let's see if I can do it on count, ready? No, I can't, but you get the idea, it's tough. Uh, give yourself more space, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Lob it at the wall to be a little bit slower, or peg it at the wall if you want it to be a little bit faster, a little bit more challenging. All right guys, so try to get in that flow. Try to get 10 in a row. If you mess up before then, start over from the beginning. And stay confident. Try to have sort of a mantra that you say to yourself. Mine is just keep your eye on the ball. And I say that to my clients too. And remember to keep your eye on the ball to the very end, to the point where you're actually holding onto it. Because oftentimes when the ball is flying, we see it coming, and then we go blind at the last second. We just kind of hope that our hand squeezes it. So using your peripheral vision, make sure you're watching it the whole time, watch it go to your hand, and then don't take your eye off the ball until you have a good grip on that thing. Until next time, be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs.